A new study shows more than one hit and run occurs every minute on U.S. roads, even though all states have laws on the books making it illegal to leave the scene of a crash. Most of the victims in fatal hit and runs are pedestrians and cyclists. CBS's Laura Podesta has a story. He was an amazing cook. He was at home when he was in the kitchen. Dr. Yolanda Green Samuel lost her older brother Eugene in a hit and run crash four years ago. I dropped to the floor. Um, I started crying and I, I just, it was, it was just something that you would never ever want to hear. The 58 year old father of five was riding his bike when a driver going 60 to 80 miles an hour hit him. They didn't stay. They could have stayed on the scene. Some 682,000 hit and run crashes happen in the U.S. each year, according to a new study from the AAA Foundation for Traffic Safety. A witness captured this video of a dark colored Jeep Cherokee driving erratically, striking another vehicle, then speeding away. While there are no injuries in this case, the research shows an alarming trend. Hit and run crashes led to 2,049 deaths in 2016, the highest number recorded and a 60% increase since 2009. Most of the victims were walking or riding a bicycle. It's an eye-opening case study. Uh, the data are discouraging, but hopefully it's enough to open our eyes and have us be a little bit more alert out on the road and pay attention for those bicyclists and pedestrians. Dr. Green Samuel launched Just an Accident, Stop Hit and Runs to raise awareness and advocate for victims' families. She says preventing distracted and impaired driving is key. If the accident never occurred, then we wouldn't have to deal with someone leaving the scene of the accident. And she'd like to see drivers sign a pledge when they get a license or buy a car, acknowledging it is their responsibility to stay on the scene if there's an accident. Laura Podesta, CBS News, New York. And for more on Dr. Green Samuel's organization, you can just you can visit justanaccidentstop.org.